why aren't you moving? Go ahead. I'll just wait here. Wait, wait a minute. Are you saying that I need to become a vampire? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. for Valerica's journal. Who happens to be the mother of Serana, who happens to have an Elder Scroll. see anything that could be a journal wait I think this might be it Harkon's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem I warned him time and time again that his foolish prophecy would cast far too much light on our people, and yet he refuses to so much as listen to a word I say. I've become less of a wife and more of an annoyance in his eyes. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace I can find while enduring his ridiculous crusade. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul can properly by using a small sample of ingredients. Although the portal opened only for a few seconds, I'm confident that with the proper formula it can be sustained indefinitely. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient, something sufficient of something of sufficient potency that can resist the forces trying to prevent my intrusion. Communing with the ideal masters has proved worthless. They speak in riddles and offer no assistance whether I assure, ensure them a steady supply of souls or not. If I'm to escape Harkon's clutches, I need to keep the portal open long enough to carry me away from here. Forever, if need be. I've done it. After wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered how to sustain the portal. I'm listing the components below without the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I'm combining my own blood into the formula, which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and follow me into the soul cairn. The formula consists of finely ground bone meal, purified void salts, Soul gem shards. Using the proper measurements, place the above in the silver lined portal vessel and add blood as a reactive agent. I will make my way into the soul cairn tomorrow after I gather my things and prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must enact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. Okay. Well, now, where did Serana go? I tell you, if it's not one thing, it's another. Serana! So that trick still works. Where were you? Never mind. I don't think I even want to know. Serana. Yes. I found your mother's notes. You did? Let me see them. What's this soul cairn that she mentions? I only know 
know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Why did she care where the soul gem where the souls went? Where used souls went? The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. If she made it there, we'll find her. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. Okay, well what do we need? A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Ah, oh, damn it. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Well, you share her blood. Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Are all of those ingredients here? Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. We just need to find them. Okay. Ah, oh, finely ground bone meal. Okay. How many soul gem fragments do I need? All right, there we are. And what was it? Void Having salts? Finding those ingredients? Here we are, purified void salts. I think we've got everything. All right, Saran, I've got all the ingredients. Get the ingredients in that vessel and let me know when you're ready. Very well. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Well, I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Okay, here goes. It is a portal. All right, 
then. Is there anything else you need to tell me? Incredible. Simply incredible. What can you tell me about this soul cairn? The soul cairn is a tiny sliver of oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. Why was your mother so fascinated by it? Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though, so that probably has some kind of interest. What exactly are the Ideal Masters? Nobody really knows. As far as I've heard, no one's seen them and returned to Tanliel to tell about it. Then how are you sure they even exist? I've heard stories. Stories about fools that manage to... communicate with them. You give the Ideal Masters souls, they give you powers to summon the undead. It's all very businesslike. Fools? Why do you say that? Because most of the stories end with the Ideal Masters duping the necromancers, who end up dead or wishing they were dead. Oh, your mother maintained quite a laboratory. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. What did she research? Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. To what end? I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. I'm ready when you are. All right. Here goes. Oh! Why is it burning? Oh! Serana, no! I, I can't go through! What happened? Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The soul cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. So there's no way in, then? There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. All right, then. I'll wait for you here. Why aren't you moving? Go ahead. I'll just wait here. Wait, wait a minute. Are you saying that I need to become a vampire? Not your first choice, I guess. There has to be another way. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. But wouldn't that kill me? My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the Ideal Masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the Soul Cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. And those are my only options? I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Oh my good, so my choice is to become a vampire or become soul trapped. Where's the choice where we leave and I go home and we just put this behind us? You can deal with your family. I, I mean, I, I really, this is ridiculous, Serana. Really? Okay, so you, you don't think this is ridiculous. Oh, oh, all right. Do you need something? Soul trap me. I won't feel right as a vampire. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul care. I'm ready. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. 
I never do anything that could hurt you. What, really? Well, let's just get this over with. As you wish. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Is that it? Did Let's anything go. happen? My mother must be waiting on the other side of that thing. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm not burning this time. Well, we're here. <laughs> 